Hello artists. Today, we're going to create art that really pops. 3D art. Art designed to respond to chroma depth 3D glasses. You just put on the glasses and see what happens. First, let's talk about how these chroma depth 3D glasses work so that we can create art designed to respond to the glasses. A drawing or painting on paper is two-dimensional. All positions on the image can be located by their X and Y coordinates, while a three-dimensional sculpture has another dimension, Z. You can also think of this in terms as your computer screen. X is the horizontal position, Y is the vertical position, and Z is the position into and out of the screen. Chroma depth 3D technology uses color to carry the Z position. Warm colors float towards your eyes and cool colors recede. Red will pop or float the closest to your face after that, pink, and then orange, yellow, the cool colors sink or recede into the paper in this order. Green, violet, and blue sinking the furthest. You will notice that white rides in the middle. Your colors must be carefully selected for this 3D experience to be most successful. When you put on your chroma depth glasses, you will see fantastic 3D illusions Put your glasses on and look at some of these images. In today's video, we're going to go over how to sketch and paint koi fish that splash right out of the pond into your face when you put on the chroma depth glasses. I will also give a few other art ideas that work really well with this exciting technology. Wouldn't it be fun to make an entire art show designed to work with these glasses? Let's get started. You will need mixed media paper, pencil, Sharpie, white oil pastel or crayon, chroma depth 3D glasses, watercolor paint, water cup and paintbrush, scissors, glue stick, and markers. I'm starting with my paper in the horizontal position. I'm drawing first the shape of the koi fish, which is kind of like a teardrop, and then I'm adding a triangle for the tail and two triangles for the fin. I draw two large half circles for the eyes with smaller half circles for the eyeballs. Now I'm drawing a teardrop shape in the other direction. These koi fish are kind of chasing each other in the pond. Again I'm drawing a triangular shape for the tail, a curvy line down the center of the fish, two half circles for the eyes, half circles for the eyeballs, and triangles for the fins. Now I'm drawing the shape of lily pads and I'm gonna add a few lily pads around the side of the fish. And I'm gonna add a few flowers that I will cut out later and add to the lily pads. When your sketch is finished, it's time to get your watercolor paint. Now, koi fish come in a variety of different colors, but because I'm making this painting for chroma depth 3D glasses, I want these fish to pop out the most, which means I've got to paint them red or a red orange because red pops the most. The lily pads, I want to keep them a warm green so that they kind of, they pop out a little bit. So you need to carefully select your colors so that you can get the greatest 3D effects. I'm painting a few flowers warm colors so that they will pop in front of the lily pads. With a white oil pastel, I'm drawing circular lines. When I tilt my paper, you can see the white lines better. The white lines represent motion in the pond to show that these koi fish are moving. 
This is the crayon resist technique and the watercolor paint does not stick to the wax on the crayon. I'm painting the entire sheet of paper bluish, greenish, purplish. I'm using the colors that recede the most so that the background becomes so much separate from the fish. And it's really important to use several layers of watercolor paint to get a nice deep color. This 3D effect will work better with bold colors. Finishing the koi fish. Get your markers. I'm going to start with a sharpie and I'm starting by outlining the shape of the koi fish so that you can really see them. And I find that using a black line around objects is going to help with the 3D effect. Now I'm using markers to add details into the fin, some stripes in the fins, some triangles in the fish that look like scales. I'm adding more detail to the second fish as well, stripes in the fins and triangles that look like scales. And now I'm adding some stripes in the lily pads and also doing some more outlining. This is going to help with the 3D effect. Putting it all together, now that the background, the pond is dry and the koi fish are finished, it's time to cut all of the koi fish and the lily pads out. Sometimes it helps to remove the object first and then continue cutting around the object. Take your time with the cutting and your results will be better. Okay, now that everything is cut out, you're ready to get your background. This is the pond. And before you glue anything down, it's a good idea to place things and to see how everything fits. I want the koi fish to be chasing each other around in the pond. When you find the way that everything fits, it's time to glue things down. I'm gluing the lily pads and the flowers. Now, get a little bit of acrylic or tempera white paint and we're going to splatter around the fish. Put some paint on the bristles, pull your finger back and let it splatter. This is the fish moving so quickly in the pond that they're causing a splash of water. And this splash rides somewhere in the middle. With your glasses on, you might feel this splash of water in your face. It's a good idea to paint and periodically stop and put your glasses on to check the 3D effects. Now I'm painting more white around the fish to really make it look like they're moving quickly. There's splashes, there's water moving, and this will help with the 3D effect. Now go ahead and put your glasses on. Now notice that I added an extra layer of watercolor paint around the fish, because the darker the color, the better the 3D effect. Now put your glasses on and look how these planets float around the galaxy. The stars were made by splattering paint. This fish really pops off the paper. And this fish swims behind the red coral. See how the bubbles float? I had so much fun creating 3D art with you today.